helicopters, a war-winning weapon system, but you've got to have the right kit. People have been putting weapons on helicopters ever since they first came around 60 years ago. Once you've got helicopters on the battlefield, you've got to protect them. We gave them guns. We gave them rockets. If you can protect them, you can also use them to take the battle to the enemy. That's what you can do. Just look at the new missiles available. Helicopters aren't fighters, but they can look after themselves. Guns on helicopters, it used to be a joke. On a good day, you might be able to hit Europe. Not any longer. It's all changed now. It's real. 3,000 rounds a minute. Ammunition that can rip open a tank. You've got the GIAT mounted system in the turret. It's mounted on Europe's Tiger. And look at the Apache. This is the business. Not only has it got a good turret, a good gun and good ammunition. It's got 30mm shells in a cannon that can't jam. And that means an enemy who can't escape and a helmet-mounted sight. There is no escaping the gun in the turret. You know, the helicopter is really flexible. So the weapon systems have to be that as well, against troop concentrations, against aircraft. Fuel dumps, airfields. Ammunition dumps, the command post. Even against tanks. Use a rocket, the fin-folding aerial rocket. Variety of warheads, two kilometer range, it's great. Deadly, the technology is improving by the day. If you want to kill tanks, pop up, take out a tank. Problem was guiding it, how do you do it? What about using wires? Two kilometers of wire, there's a lot of snags. It's not the best thing. It's not that reliable. So what's the ultimate today? The ultimate today has to be the Hellfire on the Apache. Imagine tracking 1,062 targets, acquiring 120, and instantly handing off the data. Absolutely devastating. What's so good about it? It can go through every known armor. And the other good thing, so smart, won't attack your own side. No friendly fire, no blue on blue, no fratricide.